What is your favorite mod look for a guy? My favorite mod look for a guy. Um, I I think I have to say you have to. I think you have to return to like the er, the early sixties. It's a very uh, uh, tight fitting, often quite revealing look, and you've got to be confident to wear it. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to be an Adonis, but you have to be confident to wear it. So describe me an outfit. Okay, um, you're looking at um, a uh, thin, high lapeled jacket, uh, tight fitting, um, and uh, tight fitting trousers, but with a, there's got to be a dash of colour. That's the key. There's yeah. got to be a dash of colour. Um, uh, I think a nice, a high collared, a high collared button down shirt with a night with a contrasting colour. Um, the thing with so many, I see so many guys wearing really nice suits, and then they wear like a sort of a, a really kind of floppy, low collar, low collared shirt. And the shirt get the shirt should bring out. Yeah. The the the, uh, the cut and the colour of the jacket or the suit. Absolutely. What are some of your favourite colours? This is a beautiful, beautiful shade on you. It's thank you. Uh, and, yeah, it's curtsy pretty green, and it's um, it, it's uh, I mean velvet. I mean I'm a big fan of velvet because it yeah. encourages people to stroke you. But um, <laughs> the colours are rich and deep. Yeah, it's it's about um, it's about colours that um, it, 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 they don't have to be shocking. And actually. It's, it's not about being shocking pink or shocking blue, it's about like richness. Like it's about that. richness and depth. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you can use bright colours. I mean, you know, for example, you know, some of the early kind of some of the early rave era, you know, people wore kind of like luminous right. yellow. And it's not about shocking colours, it's about rich, rich colours and real depth. It's about luxury. It's about the luxury attainable for everyone. It's about, yeah. It's I read about that in your book. I, yeah. What is your favorite mod look for a girl? Favorite mod look for a girl, I would say, is a really crisp A line dress with kind of geometric patterns. Again, primary colors. Again, bold colors, but not necessarily shocking ones. Right. And the colors, and, you know, the colors have to complement each other. Um, sharp, not necessarily the kind of the five point bob that Vidal Sassoon cut for Mary Quant. But a hair, a hairstyle that shows off a woman's the structure of a woman's face, the cheekbones, the jawline. So just as mod clothes do hug the body, um, uh, they hug the body. Uh, the ha a, a great mod ha haircut for women and for men should kind of hug the face, should set it off, not flop over I, it and yeah, obscure I, it. Yeah, and that's why you've got it, and that again is why mod is an attitude. Mm -hmm. So I think to, to wear those figure hugging clothes and, uh, and you know, and a face hugging haircut that really sets you off, you've got to be confident. You don't have to be the most beautiful person in the world, I'm sorry, you know, but you have to be confident to set off what you've got. Absolutely. And not, not show it off, there's a difference. Yes, yes. Not it's not about, no, 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 it's not about flaunting and Owning. showing it off, owning it and setting it off. Love that, very true. Well, one, a couple more questions here. What will readers of your book come away with a knowledge of about mod culture? Well, I want people to come away with, I, I, only half the book is about the city, so I want people to read that and understand where mod came from in the 60s, what is the essence of mod, but in the second half of the book, takes the reader from the 60s through to the 21st century. So I would be happiest if readers understand where mod comes from, what its essence is, but also I hope the book provides them with inspiration to take mod further, to evolve it, to evolve the style and not get trapped in the 60s, because then it becomes nostalgia and nostalgia's bullshit. It's about modernity moving forward. Cool. Last question, talking about evolving and moving forward, sort of like Tanya's question, but what do you predict that social media will do for mod culture? Will it dilute it? Will it strengthen it? What is it well, there, there, there is actual evidence that you know there are some key mod websites like mod culture, and a lot of people in their teens and early 20s access it. And, what, and, and the evidence so far is that young people go to those mod websites um, not because they want a nostalgia trip, not because they want to 
pretend they're 19 in 1966. They go to those websites for inspiration to do their own thing. And that's the evidence is that's what young people go to. For. Go to they, they go to those websites to get inspiration to do their own thing. Love that. Thank you very much, Richard, for taking the time for us. This is Cynthia reporting from The Mod Journalist.